banana jam. Hey, Chicho, I haven't turned into uh, your streams for over two years. Oh my God, I need some wise Chicho advice, not financial. Some recently, uh, uh, not financial. So recently I inherited a sum of money in the range of 7 mil USD from my mom. She recently passed away two weeks ago and I have no siblings or family here and she left it all to me plus her assets. What would you do if you inherit a 7 mil uh, USD? How would you spend it? I currently have no debts. If you have no debts, dude, what's your lifestyle? Like that's one thing you have to consider. What's your lifestyle? Right? How do you want to live? And Ronnie's coming back with the right reply. Sorry to hear about your mother passing. Indeed, indeed. Right? Uh, thanks. I lost both my parents now, uh, Banana says. And I'm all alone. No siblings or connections to any family here. I love modesty. You love modesty. A uh, modestly living. Okay. Uh, Banana. Look. First of all, you can't have that all that money in one account, in one bank, in one institution, right? So what you need to do right now is divert, split that money up before making any big decisions. Split that money up between different institutions, different banks, right? Because we're we're at the beginning stages possibly of banking banking collapse. I know the US government has backstopped everything, but um saying that they're going to protect all all deposits and stuff but you don't know what's going to happen right so split that up because you're only covered for two hundred fifty thousand dollars in the united states per account i believe or it could be per person by the way okay so even splitting it up might not work it, you have to look re read the fine print right um if you don't have property really i would I know some places the price is way inflated way inflated but right now fiat cash might be uh, very problematic right it might lose a lot of its purchasing power or it might still give you a fair bit right so if you don't have property right away right now one of the first things you should be doing is doing some research figuring out where you might want to set some roots if you want to live modestly and don't decide on a metropolis uh, central location right uh, like a big city don't if you want to live in a big city fine and dandy rent an apartment live there until you figure out what you're gonna do right because big cities might become prisons okay especially in the United States and Canada and Western world so don't buy a huge property in centralized city right it has to be in an urban setting has to have some land where you can either grow food yourself or hire people to grow food on your property right and that way you build a community you can offer that for free offer it to get some uh, food whatever right something modest if you want modest something small house large lots of land maybe make sure you have a good water supply so you got to do a lot of research on that front right I do not envy you right now second order of business you can take a little bit of that money right now interest rates are at a good level where you can collect probably around five percent interest five or six percent if you put it into in Canada it's called a GIC or whatever you can just get straight up interest I would not be going into the stock market unless I was going into big blue chips and they got to be legitimate don't don't go into things that are already inflated or they're hyping right so you got to do a little research you don't want to go into something that's this disruptive innovation is going to take them out don't buy anything that's a hype anything like this right you need to get your hands on some metals okay you need to get some silver you need to get some coal gold straight up this is not in an, you're not looking at huge gains here you're looking to preserve your wealth right by the way this is not financial advice this is just I'm telling you what I would do right I would look into it and for sure take some of that and get some silver get some gold do not keep that silver and gold in the bank figure out another way to store that silver and gold and you can't have that I'm not talking take five million of seven million and put silver and gold don't do that right enough to live modestly to make sure you can survive a collapse right figure out how you want to store it. you don't whatever it is you don't want to keep it all in your home 
somewhere distribute it between family i know you say you're all alone but figure it out right you need to get your hands on some crypto bitcoin if i was you bitcoin monero those are the only two i would play with right and make sure you have cold storage on the bitcoin right don't keep it on anybody's site any platforms or anything like that cold storage okay get some get 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 uh, storage space fill it up not fill it up but small storage space you don't need it if you live in a small place uh, apologies if I'm not reading the chat by the way because yeah. uh, I'm thinking how you go would go about it make if you if you live in a small space you don't have storage space rent out some storage space get some non-perishable foods in that storage space maybe get two storage spaces get fill it up full of non-perishable foods right that won't expire for five years right something like that very small they don't have to be fucking gigantic store spaces make sure you're healthy if you have the means take some of that money outside of the united states see what currency what country you might want to open up a bank account and keep some money in there just in case you need an out right if you're into guns and ammo guns and ammo right that's what i can think of right now man that's what I can think of right now. 